we now know how to insert content on um, text, image, image files, uh, tables, charts, video and audio files. So now it's time for me to pay some attention to my appearance, to the appearance of the, of the slides because they are really, really, well, well, they look ugly. So there are many ways to do that. Um, first of all, what we can use is templates. So these are commands that are already predefined in Impress, so we don't have to do anything. So instead of doing it by hand, for example, I can go, okay, this is going to be um, 48 green underline, then I go to the next, the next one, green underline, blah, 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 blah. The problem with this um, method is that, first of all, it takes a lot of time and Apart from that, imagine you finished 25 slides and then you say, okay, I don't want to underline. Um, then it means that you have to change it 25 times and go back and forth, back and forth. So what you can use is, as I said, templates. Um, normally, if you have watched my videos on OpenOffice Writer, you know what a style is. So you can go to, I think, Master Pages. So take a look at that. First of all, let's um, view the slideshow, slideshow or F5. So um, okay, so this is page slide one and then um, I go from one to another. So I can apply um, a template so let's see this is the normal I can choose this one this one this one etc etc as you can see it's not only about the background colors uh, even the text is going to change uh, its appearance so you can see that like that this is italic now it's not it's blue etc so one thing you can do is so use templates. The problem with templates is uh, our imagination is confined by what is already installed in Impress. So maybe out of the, I don't know how many, 15, um, uh, 24, 28, I think, templates I've got installed, none is on um, what I want my slides to look like. What I can do is I can find new templates. So all I have to do is go to the OpenOffice web page and then oh thing is going to be from here. Let's go directly OpenOffice templates. Open Office templates, and here you've got what you need filter by application, blah blah blah. So, here you can find let's impress have nothing here. So, let's go by our templates by impress. There you go. So, you've got quite a few um, results so normally you're going to find what you need blue lightning I'm gonna see if I've got it already I, th I don't think I got it so okay black and blue smoke I see it I said okay I like it so I'm going to download it blah 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 download and I've got it the as you can see the file format is OTP which is an open office template presentation deny deny blah 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 and you've got let's go here so I have to wait a bit and now I've got it on my desktop so there you go I can just double click 
and OTPs are actually um, presentation files, normal files like ODP. So it just open a new impress presentation um, file and you've got the format already installed. So I can start doing my thing and blah blah blah, new slide, blah 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 blah. And then I can um, I can just save it as an open office presentation ODP and I've got my new file. The problem with this method is that um, next time I want to use this file, um, this sorry template, I will have to restart again. I have to um, save this file and each time double click and create a new file. Um, what I would like is to integrate this template into my master pages pane, which is not the case here. So what I can do is import the OTP file with the press. So file templates. Sorry, let's go back. I open this one and instead of creating my um, presentation directly here, file, template, save, I can call it whatever, blue and black, category, well, uh, let's say here, okay, I'm gonna put it here and then, okay. So I call it black and blue, I think. I'm going to close down all my um, OpenOffice Impress um, windows. And now I'll reopen my original file. And here I will find within or amongst the other templates, I will find the, the one I installed and I can find it here blue and black um, in the meanwhile actually I paused the the recording and what I did um, a few seconds ago I couldn't find it I couldn't find it here that was because I had open office calc uh, opened so I had to close that one so you have to close all open office Windows and then reopen Impress. So I thought that by closing up Impress it, that was sufficient, but it's not the case in most um, installation um, issues. So there you go, blue and black. And plus, I actually deleted this one, and you can still find it here. So I can close it up and open it. And now I've got there you go so I will apply it and I've got what I need there you go so this is how you um, use a template there is a slight problem with this um, method of installing a template it takes a lot of time so um, downloading an OTP and then uh, going um, going the other the thing like file blah 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 template save blah 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 there's another way so what you can do is visit the open office extensions page and then impress and you can actually instead of downloading individual OTP files um, template files you can install extensions extensions are plugins that you can very easily install you know that from Mozilla Firefox for example um, so if I install professional template pack blah 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 is it for uh, even for impress great or I'm gonna take this one download extension it's like executable files so the difference is that when I download it um, there is the OXT 
extension for the extensions I just click it opens up the extension manager or dialog window I said okay blah 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 accept and now it's installed I'm going to close up again impress and all the open office windows open it up and here you can see quite a few templates and I only had to download the file and then install it so um, extensions are very very easy to install as you can see and there you go I've got quite a few uh, new templates to use obviously um, the openoffice.org uh, um, uh, website is not the only place you can find our templates so you can just write open office impress templates and you can see there are quite a few websites that can offer you quality you can see here quality uh, extensions quality templates for example, here you can see that uh, these people took PowerPoint templates and they just, let's say, converted them to OpenOffice Impress templates. And you can find there are thousands upon thousands of templates um, online, so it's up to you. Um, if you want to know how to modify a template, watch the next video on how to use the master slides.